Welcome to Material Retail Dumps, Episode 4. My name is Elliot, and I'm very excited to be the host today. This is the third and final episode in our Gross Margin series. In this episode, we'll talk about how you can improve cash flow and gross margins using markdown money. If you haven't listened to the first two episodes in the series, I strongly suggest doing so, as it'll put a lot of this into context. This episode and the execution of the ideas in this episode may be a bit uncomfortable for some, but you know the saying, no pain, no gain. So let's get to it. What are we talking about? Very simply, when you have a bad style, you know that you need to mark it down quickly and aggressively. So now that we've marked down the item and are looking to get our money back as quickly as possible, let's take another route towards recouping our money. Let's pick up the phone, call your sales rep, explain to them the style is not working for you, and politely ask them if you could return the style. They will very likely say no, but guess what? That was the plan. Now you can pleasantly accept the no on the return and ask them to discount the item after the fact. So let's just say you bought six pieces of an item for $20 each. Maybe they say, okay, we'll give you a 20% discount on the item. This didn't sell. That's $4 each. Get you $24 back. That phone call literally took three to five minutes. And I don't know how much your time is worth, but I'll take $24 for three to five minutes anytime. Especially if you do that over the course of, you know, six months, 20, 30, 40 times, you're talking about thousands of dollars. And the bigger your purchase is, the more expensive your purchase is, the more likely you are to get some money off and the more the merrier. So if you haven't paid for the item yet, you'll just pay less when paying the invoice. If you have paid for the item already, just ask for a credit on the next purchase. Come back and the next time you buy something, you'll get something cheaper. It's almost like a customer coming to you and telling you that the bag they bought is damaged. You don't want to give them a refund, but you're happy to give them $10 off a new bag. Because guess what? They're going to come in, spend more money, and they're happy to get a new bag for cheaper. You're happy you get to keep their money, and also you get to keep the customer happy. It's a win-win. So here's four tips to make it work. Number one, don't be shy. This is a business, and you're a customer. You're expecting your vendors to provide great quality styles that will perform in your store. I'm sure when the sales rep came to your store or you went to the showroom to buy the item, the sales rep was telling you how great of a seller this item is, how it's the hottest item of the season. You need to have this item in four different colors. You know, they weren't shy making that sale to you and you shouldn't be shy when letting them know that the thing they sold you was not great. Number two, maybe the most important tip, don't be mean. You have a working relationship with this sales rep and company. You need to keep that relationship strong. Everyone needs to be respectful. You're simply coming as a buyer, explaining that the item you bought is not selling and you need help getting rid of it. You need monetary help getting rid of it so you don't take a loss. Number three, make sure you ask for a return first. If they say yes to the return, that's the best outcome. You want to get that item off your floor. You want to get the money back um, or credit back. And you just want to go and buy a new item that will sell at a full markup. That's the ideal situation. Most vendors will reject you. Nobody wants to take the item back, repack it up, and then resell it. It's probably already in the season and they're not interested. That's okay because once they say no, they already feel bad for you. And now that they feel bad for you, they're going to be a little more likely to give you some money off. So even though they say no to the return, that is a good thing. We want to just get a little money back. Every dollar counts. Number four, be careful not to go to the same vendor over and over again. Um, There's two reasons for this. Number one, they'll get sick of you. And if they get sick of you, maybe the next time you go purchase from them, they're not going to give you the same discount as last time. They're just not going to be so happy. You don't want to turn into that customer that keeps coming back all day. Number two, and most importantly, if you need to keep going back to the same vendors over and over again and ask for markdown money, it's most probably because their products are just not good for your customer and you should just probably stop buying for them altogether or just stop buying from them for a season or two seasons and then you know test the waters again but again if you need to go back to a vendor 10 times over a year because you bought 10 horrible styles maybe you should think about just stopping to buy and it's very important to understand that we're not just going to every single vendor all the time and saying we want money off we're not doing that we're going to them with only styles that didn't sell and didn't sell at all. These are horrible styles that are we just can't get rid of. The only way we could get rid of it is to dump it on a $10 rack or get 50% off and it's still in season. And we want to go to the vendors with those products. Because at the end of the day, when you're purchasing from a vendor, 
there's an expectation that the product you're purchasing is going to sell. Now, obviously, as a buyer, you need to know what to buy. But you make mistakes, and it's not necessarily your mistake. It could be their mistake. It could be the fit just wasn't right. Everybody that tries on the jacket in the fitting room, it just doesn't sit well on the body. Or it could just be the colors came in a little bit differently. Whatever it is, you have a bad style. You need help getting rid of it. Well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for listening. I'm very excited for next week's episode. We're going to discuss branding, and we're going to have a very special guest on the show. So we're excited. Thank you.